I'm two weeks away from my wedding and my wedding dress is not altered. None of my bridesmaids' dresses are in. This is the stuff that you read about on the news, or read about in the newspaper, or see on TV, and don't expect yeah. yourself to be part of it. You're yeah. like, that's not going to happen to me, and, you know? How are you feeling right Anywhere now? Anywhere between 8 and 1,000. I, I, I can't even explain. I actually got a dress through them. I just got married in May, and I got my dress through them. My sister has ordered a dress, and she's been waiting and calling, of course, not getting an answer. We just saw the article on the record right now. And she's freaking out, of course, because if it's not here now, she has to go do something else. I actually had a final fitting with them the week before my wedding, and I showed up and nobody was here. So I never had my final fitting, so I was doing a destination wedding. I just had to take my stuff and go. I was in my dress waiting to get fitted for an hour, and I was listening to everything that was going on. So then when I did finally leave without getting my dress fitted, um, I figured I'd better call the mother of the bride and my son, who's the groom, to come, but we'd better get the dresses out of here because I wasn't sure if we did come tomorrow if the door would be locked completely. Mm. Are you relieved? Kind of, but it's just that the, the alterations are going to cost us a fortune now to get somebody to alter these dresses. Mm. We, had, we have a, an upcoming wedding in two weeks, and um, we kind of been dealing with them for about six months or so, and things have just been really bad the entire time. We really don't know and like, understand what's going on. We can't get a straight answer about anything. Pretty much, like, whenever they want to make an appointment to come in or talk about something or discuss a style change or a fitting, whatever you, the women do, <laughs> um, there's just always, like, four or five phone calls before you actually get a return. Or if you ever get a return, it's usually just after they get fed up and finally come in, and they say, oh, the answer machine's broken, the phone's broken, we got to fix it. Is your fiancé getting panicky? She's been very, you know, skeptical the entire time, but once they had her money, it was kind of like... Be nice, try to get things done before, you know, things head maybe in a different, you know, poor direction, which it seems like it is right now.